Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and in this video I'll be making Zari Tomaz or Tarazi, whichever one you want uh, to use um, from DC's Legend of Tomorrow and Lego DC Super Villains. So yeah, let's get into it. Man, I haven't used, I haven't made a custom video in so long. Uh, hopefully I can get back into the swing of things and uh, cause I've got some ideas. And yeah, let's go to the customizer. Go to the custom character you want to use. Go to head. And then, you want to go to the female heads. Go to uh, female head number 49. Or custom head number 49. Go to the tannish brown skin color. Um, then you want lip color. You want it to be red. Cause that's just what makes it look better. And then face decal color, black, cause she has black hair. Um, wait, actually, let's try uh, black canary's face actually. Yeah, that that's better, yeah, black canary's face. Yeah, to make it the tannish brown color again. And then for her hair, go to curly long hair keep it black because she has black hair uh, no attachments for her arms you want to use aqualad because we're going to use her like plaid um you know like blazer or you know sweater she uses a lot um because she doesn't really have a superhero costume so change it red No hat for hands. Use the same tannish brown color you use for her face. <laughs> uh, for her body, uh, I think we're gonna use yeah, Mary Bromfield because this is the closest I could have gotten it, and make it the bright red or the brightest red to match the arms. Um, for her hips, you want to use. Atomica's hips, and then because she wears she wears jeans, I think you want to change it to like the second lightest blue. I think is what that is. Or well, just a light blue. And then for the leg, you just want to give up, give her plain legs, and then make match make a match make the color match the hip piece. Yeah, and then for effects. Uh, just no effects. You can, for jump flame effects, you can give her the one that most looks like, mostly looks like wind. Yeah, style 5. And then personality. Uh, for health, uh, give her, yeah, silver, because the wind she uses is silver. Health type standard. Voice line, any female voice. I'm just going with voice number 5. Uh, speed, normal speed, target, mercy graves. Um, yeah. Um, you can either give her cool or normal. I give her cool because that's like the female stance in this game. Get rid of her weapons if they have weapon. If your custom character has weapons, mine does. Get rid of those. go back then scroll over to the powers for uh y nothing for tap x it's uh for tap x give her you can give her bolts uh, both hands bolt style uh i think it's bolt style number one yeah uh Actually, uh, bolt style number two works better because it's got smoke coming out of it. Then you want to change it to a gray color for like, the wind. Uh, yeah, this gray color works. Like the darkest uh, gray, bluish gray color. Then target. And for hold axe, there's nothing.
Uh, yeah, for, for hold X, there's nothing. Because, you know, when you hold X to target for A, uh, she can fly, because she flies in, one, in the episode where she, um, gets stuck in a time loop. She flies with Ray, I believe, so she can fly with her, the wind powers. Hold. Mm, you can give her super jump if you want. Um, tap B. Uh, do not give her bolts. Give her a force field, because she can shield herself from bullets and stuff. With the wind. We've seen it happen in multiple different episodes. Uh, which one works? Hmm, I like, uh, field, force field style number three works. I like that one. Um, mm. no, not with that one. You can go with the bluish, uh, gray color. The darkest one. Uh, for hold B, uh, beam for the wind that she shoots. Beam style. Yeah, beam style number seven. It's all, like, bent and wavy and stuff for that one. Uh, just give her a silver beam. That's what I gave her. Beam origins, both hands. Beam color. Bluish silver color. Um, yeah, now for her skills, I gave her technology because she's a hacker. Now grapple. Mmm, no acrobat. No, um, beam deflect because she can, you know, deflect bullets and stuff. Beam command, x-ray, nah. No, I don't know why I gave her fucking graffiti, but, you know. Uh, tracking. Mmm, nah. That's all her abilities. Then, go to name, name her... Zari. Uh, and then make her a hero. And then I made her... I guess you can make her part of the Justice League Dark, because, you know, Zari 2.0 is having a little love interest with John Constantine. Agent of Doom. Yeah, uh, yeah I guess, because they, they mostly deal with magic stuff, and her totem is magic, so yeah, Justice League Dark works. And uh, yeah, let's go see what she can do. Let's see her powers and stuff outside of the customizer. Oh. Alright. Just loading real quick. Alright, here we go. Outside of the... Shoot. Shooting the... Her... Wind... Wind blasts. Here's her... Wind beams. targeting is a flight and when, she, when she flies there's actually like kind of like how red tornado flies just like a like wind underneath of her but, but there you can't change the wind style the fly style in this so just just use your imagination i guess and her airs are tacky hmm Let's see if she can yeah so yeah that's zari from legend of tomorrow and um you know, Zari 2.0 was kind of annoying at first, and she kind of grew on me at least, because, you know, she went from being, like, you know, an Instagram influencer to, you know, an actual part of the Legends, which is what I was hoping for, which is good. Yeah, there's a jump slam effect. I like the, her relationship with her brother. And, uh, spoiler alert if you haven't seen the season finale of Legends yet, um, or season 5 of Legends. Uh, sorry, 1.0 goes into the totem, so hopefully we'll see her from time to time. Like, see if Nate wants to go say hi to her or something like that. So yeah, that's the end of this video. Um, that's the end of this video, so thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, comment, comment who I should do next. Uh, I think I have two more people to do from the Legends. I think that's going to be... Rip Hunter and Jonah. So, yeah. See you later.